Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and today I will be doing a real-time craft along. So if you are part of the Artful Angel Facebook group earlier this month, I hosted a mystery craft along and um, this was something that Kim Simpson introduced to our group last month, which I had never heard of until she um, introduced it to us. Basically, the idea of it was that you get a supply list and a cut list, which I will throw up onto the screen right now. And that's all you have before the event. And then during the event, you are given clues or steps really uh, spaced 10 minutes apart. So even if you didn't you know, do all of the prep work ahead of time, I think that gives you ample, ample time to, um, to cut and go you know, as you go along during the event. And it was a lot of fun because going into the, to the event, you don't really know what the end product is going to be. Um, other than the fact that it will be a card. And so I had a lot of fun earlier this month hosting um, our June mystery craft along. If you missed it, you can craft along with me now. It won't be a mystery anymore <laughs> because this will be the actual card that um, that I share uh, for the event because I'm actually recording this well in advance of um, the mystery craft along. So, um, so what I have, let me go through each of the um, cuts here and that way uh, you can follow along. So I've got this piece. This is 120 pound weight heavy cardstock. So this is eight and a half by um, five and a half tall. Along the eight and a half inch edge, I scored it at two and one eighth and six and three eighths. So that's basically, I scored it two and one eighth in from both sides. So that is going to be our card base. I've just scored it. I haven't folded it just yet. And then, and of course you can, if you're crafting along with me, you can obviously choose whatever colors you want. Um, this just happens to be the color combination that I'm going with. So uh, item number two is from solid color one. So I have one piece that's cut to four inches wide by five and a quarter tall. And then I have two pieces that are each cut to two inches wide by five and one quarter inch tall. That's from solid color one. Item number three, we have solid color number two. That's going to be this long strip here, which is one and three quarters of an inch wide by 11 inches tall. So that's item number three. Item number four, I happen to just choose a third solid color cardstock. And of course, at any time, obviously you can choose your own colors. You can choose pattern papers too. So feel free to take liberties. Um, but basically, uh, item number four, it can be any shape that you want that is approximately three to three and a quarter or three and a half inches in diameter. Really, the, um, the motivating principle behind the size that I picked was that I wanted it to be wider than item number three here. Um, but I also wanted it to um, support my focal image, which we'll get to a little later on. Item number five is a piece of white cardstock that's cut to three and a half inches wide by four and three quarters inches tall. Item number six is pattern paper cut to one and three quarters wide by four and three quarters tall, and you'll want two of those pieces. And then, um, of course, then you'll want, I showed a sneaky peek of this already, you'll want your focal image. So 
I have my focal image taking up nearly, nearly that entire um, shape die cut that is uh, listed as item number four. And then you'll want your sentiment, which I also used a die to cut out. So those are all the pieces. Of course, you'll need some glue, um, maybe foam if you want. So your your choice of adhesive is going to be whatever you prefer. Um, and then optionally, if you want, item number 10 is some twine or thread or embroidery floss or ribbon. You know, all of that is very optional. And then, of course, any other embellishments that, that you would like. So... I am going to start off um, and with the card base, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach item 2A to this card base. So basically 2A was this piece here, which is um, our largest um, solid color cardstock. And I'm going to use just some, I'm going to use my tape gun to attach this one. And if you um, are curious, hopefully, I don't know for certain, but hopefully we will be doing more of these mystery craft alongs. And so if you missed, um, this month's craft along then uh, hopefully we'll be doing another one in July so what I'm going to try to do is actually center this piece um, between the two score lines here and centered it uh, try to center it up and down as well so just basically within this center this middle section here and Whatever adhesive you use, I always recommend to give it a really good burnish. Then um, step number two is, um, oh, sorry, forgot. Uh, as part of that step, I also want to attach this. So this is our piece of white cardstock. This was item number five on the supply list. And my focal image today is from the Artful Angel May release. This one um, came from S'more Wishes. It's also already available in the Artful Angel shop. So you can pop on over and check that out if you're interested. I'm gonna give that a really good burnish. And then, um, now is when I actually want to fold along these score lines and so I'll give that a nice fold and I want to fold it such that it's folding on top of or over the pieces of cardstock that we just laid down and I'm going to give both of these score lines a really nice burnish. Okay. Now I have the two pieces that were um, numbered as 2B. And the way that I like to attach these is what I'm going to do is just quickly get some adhesive on both of them. And I'm working with a textured solid color cardstock. So I'm actually putting adhesive on the side that's smooth because this is smooth on one side and textured on the other side. Okay, so what I wanna do is there's a left panel here and there's a right panel. So on the left panel, I wanna actually position our my solid color cardstock so that it's flush to the right edge here. And then along the other three edges, I want it to be evenly spaced. So it's gonna go all the way to the right edge, but I want it uh, to have that white border all the way around the other three edges. So it'll look, it'll look like that. And again, 
give that a really good burnish. And then once I get one side down, what I like to do is for the other panel, uh, I like to line this up so that the top and bottom up here and down here, they line up with the other, the other panel so that when it's closed, it almost looks like it's one solid piece of cardstock. Okay, so that uh, would have been um, the second, uh, the third clue that was given out during the mystery craft along. Then um, clue number four is to take um, what was listed as item number six, the pattern paper, and to attach it right on top of that solid color cardstock. So again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and get some tape on both of these pieces. And then um, I'm gonna attach it in the same way where it is going to um, meet up both of these right in the center so that um, there's only the green border on the outside three edges. Now these were cut, so one thing that I'm going to pay attention to is these were cut um, from one piece. So I'm going to actually make sure that they are put attached so that they actually go back the same way that they were cut. So it's going to go like that. All right, so same thing. I want to, I'm attaching onto my left hand panel here. So I want to make this flush to the right edge, but I'm trying to center it on the remaining three edges. So I get a nice, uh, even border all the way around um, as best I can. So something like that. And when you get it to where you like it, then you can give it a good burnish. And then when I go to attach the opposite side, what I can do is, now that I have one down, I can just line up the top and bottom edge. I can line this up so that it butts up in the center and then go straight down with it. So that is, and I didn't do a great job cutting this, <laughs> but I think it'll be okay. Okay, so that would have been clue number four if you, um, had participated in the mystery craft along. The next clue is going to be to take item number three. And this is going to actually wrap around our card um, from top to bottom. And so what I like to do, and this is all, this is where some of the fun is because everybody's gonna do this a little bit differently. So um, I kind of like to put this edge here the edge of our um, strip, um, sort of uh, a little bit higher than center. And then I'm gonna just softly wrap it around the back and just put a soft kind of fold or bend and then wrap it uh, behind the card and then all the way to the front. And what I'm gonna end up with, because I don't want a very tight super tight wrap, I am going to end up with about a quarter of an inch gap in between. And so, um, and if you're um, an experienced card maker, you'll recognize what I'm creating is essentially a belly band. But instead of the belly band going around the center this way, it's going to go around the top of our card vertically. And so here is where there was an optional, an optional step. So um, on the supply list, I did mention that some of the, um, the last item was an optional bit of, uh, you could use thread or um, twine, whatever, um, whatever you want. 
And so now is the time where if you are going to take that option to use that, then you can go ahead and wrap it around a few times. So um, let's see, how many times can I get this to go around? Um, and then wherever, wherever you feel like is a good place to stop, you can go ahead and just tie the ends together. And I'll, I'll do a little bit of a double knot and I'm going to loop one around the other just to bring everything to a, to a nice tight knot here. You could tie, um, you could tie a bow, anything, anything you want really. Uh, I have enough left over, so let me just do a bow well. So, let's see. I didn't leave myself too much on that side. Um, the mystery craft along was an hour long, but you'll see when we're done here, probably doesn't take that long to put this card together. It's a pretty, pretty simple little fun fold. And just a different way to, to do a gate fold with a belly band. So I'm gonna even that out a little bit. Okay, so there's our little bow. And then what you want to do is um, take item uh, number four. And that's going to be your die cut shape. And you can kind of position this wherever you like. So I'm going to make sure, and I can still sort of adjust this a little bit because nothing's glued down. So I'm just going to made me move my string, my bow, up a little bit towards the top, maybe spread it out a little bit, and that way we can have something a little bit more like that. Okay, so I think that's roughly where I want it. And what you want to be careful of at this point is you want to adhere this down, but you want to make sure that you're only putting adhesive on item number three, which is the, the belly band here. And so the, the um, objective with this piece is that it still needs to uh, be able to slide off of the card. So you want to be careful when you glue this down not to actually glue it down to your card base. So I'm actually going to take a little bit of low profile foam and this is just one millimeter thick. And what I'll do is I'm just gonna cut a little, little chunk there and a little chunk up there. Maybe, there we go. And I'm going to attach my scallop circle to that. And this will have the benefit of also securing and holding down our ribbon. So, or um, in, in my case, I'm just using embroidery floss. So you wanna make sure whatever, whatever final adjustments you wanna make to this um, uh, in terms of positioning where where this bow is, because you can see I can slide the bow up and down. I can move it left and right. So you kind of want to make that decision now um, before you put down your adhesive. So I think I think I do want it centered. So I'm gonna go with that. Um, but again, here's the fun thing with a mystery craft along because in, a, in any sort of craft along, because you can always take you can always take liberties um, even when you know, you're seeing somebody do it. But in the case of a mystery craft along, 
you're just getting the written instructions. And so, um, so you don't have the benefit of watching somebody create and everything is really up to interpretation. So now I'm going to put down my scalloped circle. Um, try to get that as centered as possible. Give that a little bit of a burnish. Okay, so now that that piece is done, um, you know, you want to make sure you can just, if you want, just test that you can actually slide this on and off without without it being too um, too tight, like too hard to slide off, but also you don't wanna be able to just hold it like this and have it slip off by itself. So that's sort of the, the balance of tension that you're looking for when you wrap this around. You'll notice I didn't I didn't burnish this to give it a hard a hard fold. It's still a pretty soft fold. And then the last thing that we need to do is just attach items seven and eight, which are our focal image and um, sentiment. And on this, I think what I'll do is go, I think I'm gonna use some more low profile foam and give it a little bit of dimension as well. Because this is only one millimeter thick, this is still going to be a relatively flat card because uh, even though it's uh, at this point two layers of foam in the center here, it's still gonna be pretty fat, flat. So I wanna have it be roughly there and then yeah, I think I'm gonna tuck, I think, yeah. I'm gonna tuck this under the, um, my focal image, but I want a little bit, a little bit of extra foam at the top here. And, and then I can stick this down. I do want to keep my sentiment here just, just for placement. Try to center that as well. All right. And I'm going to attach this flat to the, my scalloped circle there. So I think in that case, I'll just use some liquid adhesive and I'm just going to squiggle on some to here. And there you have it our finished card. And as it turns out, this is actually the um, Artful Angel sketch of the month, just interpreted in a different way. So um, you can see that even when you're given a sketch, you can always um, take some liberties and um, interpret it however you like. And in this case, I decided to interpret the middle, that middle um, strip there as a belly band. And then you open up your gatefold, you can stamp a message in here. I'm gonna leave it occasion free at the moment because I think smile always is very, very general purpose. So I can always um, use any occasion sentiment on the inside. And that is our finished card. Thank you so much for joining me today for this craft along. And if you're curious about the mystery craft along and um, you didn't get a chance to play along last month or this month, join the Artful Angel group and uh, be sure to turn on your notifications for the group. So when we have our next mystery craft along, you'll see a notification uh, come up on Facebook. Thanks so much and until next time, happy crafting and have a fantastic day. Bye!